Hello, it's Combo here, your local necromancer for all things unholy, and by the way, since the new augment system is now in place, we've got some interesting builds for you. Go ahead and look at these augments as I happen to be talking here, get a good eye on them. The first one we're going over is Gears, who has naturally high damage. He's the perfect build for pure and simple, the good augment that gives you no requirements for your crushing blows. He's got top tier fashion. And with nat 20, which if you remove your aug your meters, you actually get the ability to proc your extra status effects 100% of the time. I'm going to do a video probably about how augments work now and how nat 20 can be the perfect thing for certain characters. And, well, Gearus happens to be one of those characters. He is inevitable. He is unstoppable. Go ahead and take a look. My spark of infinity never fades. It must be destroyed. Round one, fight. total package. Now, one of the other things they've tied to characters in this game now is that everyone more or less has their own type of elemental damage to each character. This makes Kotal great depending on what type of damage you want to deal in. Roughly everyone has some type of physical damage, some people specialize in only physical damage, but people like Kotal, they can be geared towards other things. Kotal does primarily physical but also fire damage. But if you want to make him a blood god, he can be a blood build like none other, except for maybe, well, Scarlet herself. But, just keep that in mind. He also has a massive health pool given larger augments that he can unlock through the Gensei, and has one of the better armor break moves in my opinion. So, with that, he's basically the white deck of the Magic the Gathering MK11 characters, and he will take you down. Very very tough. Take a look. You are freed of Shao Kahn's yoke. Takata now controls its own fate. Our world is better for it. Round one. Fight. Meets back on the menu, boys. 
You know who's obsessed with winning? Shao Kahn. But also, anyone who plays Mortal Kombat. So, since Shao Kahn's been buffed, he does huge amounts of physical and chaos damage, take a look at this not-so-distant cousin of a certain Mad Max villain. He's doing great. He's got really good fashion. He's probably my second most played character behind Kotal. I main Kotal, and that's why I have some feels about what happened to him. But Dragon Man here, yeah, he's, he's kind of just winning no matter what. So, in closing, everyone, I might have to do more guides down the line to really flesh out what's been going on with Augments and the big changes that have made this game suddenly take more hours of my life than I really, really wanted. But, you know what? I could be doing worse things. I could be playing in traffic. Or being a Wi-Fi warrior in Combat League. God, Combat League is shit. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like it if you liked it. Share it if you don't. And, well, I'll see you in the tournament. Adio. My actions are not your concern. Even you must obey the law. I am the law, fool. Round one. Fight. <laughs>